cab of our farm truck. We're on our way up to New York State. Connor, what are we doing? That's right, we're actually getting five more cows. Picking up two cows and then three steers that hopefully we'll be able to finish out this summer. So we're on the road. Connor wanted to join me. Why do you want to come, Connor? So I think you don't have to take it back. Yep. So we're here at this is uh, Stony Brook Farm up in New York. They got a nice little batch of belties here. So we're picking out three steers. Couple cow calf. That's yeah, a good looking sight. Hey guys. You want seven? Here, yeah. You happy with the three we picked? Think they'll be good? I didn't see I didn't see the calf. Okay. We haven't got it on there yet. Thing with handling cows, you may have the whole herd in there, but always the one you need is out there. You guys good? There they are. Ready to head home. Hello, Harry. I think I can't build this. Well, it has been an interesting evening. Everything went pretty well uh, as far as loading the animals. Uh, drive home uneventful. And then uh, backed in and the yard's a little bit soft. And stuck the trailer. <coughs> So I had to get the tractor to get it pulled out, as you might have seen, and made a poor choice of where to hook the chain. Did not think through how much weight I had on that trailer before we hooked to the bumper, so there we are, about ripped my bumper off. So, yeah, nothing's ever easy. Bad decisions have a way of uh, catching up with you here on the farm. But, in other news, we had kind of a blessing. We didn't realize this till we got home, but getting the trailer into the mud alerted us to this little issue. If you can see, that wheel is completely off of the bearing there. So we wouldn't have seen that if we hadn't have backed it in the mud. The mud kind of dislodged it, and we see now that that is in need of some repair. So I'm just thankful that uh, thankful we made it home safely and that we didn't lose that wheel on the highway so all's well that ends well all fixable so thankful everybody's good and the cows are good Seem to be enjoying themselves so always interesting I find the herd dynamics really interesting when they put new animals in with an existing herd so you'd think I just put out fresh hay here behind me so you'd think ah, yeah they come in here get something to eat nah, not really and the new animals will be a little bit uh, standoffish they maintain some segregation so way out there woo there <laughs> back there there's the two new cows and calves I just put in there hanging out way back in that corner and then over here making the rounds let's see if I can find them behind me oh there they are way out there by the fence line we got the three three new steers and then I don't know if you can see them but all the way back by the back fence line way back there that's the other ones so they're not uh, too sure about the new crowd haven't made friends yet <laughs> trying to figure out the surroundings they're walking the fence line trying to figure out how to get home, but they'll settle in in a day or two. Fortunately, we didn't put any through a fence, so that's good news. Uh, better than last time. Yep, I gotta sort out the new pecking order. <laughs> new guy picked on the smallest calf in here. Oh, he's being plucky, sticking with it. <laughs> 
trying to assert dominance. Well, it's been an interesting day. I feel like uh, anytime in this farming operation you solve one problem and you create two or three more. <laughs> so I'm really happy with these animals. I think they will uh, do well for us, fit well into our operation here. Solves the immediate need we have to get a few more animals into our pipeline, get some meat out to the customers. But we created a few new problems of uh, broken trailer hub, broke the bumper on the truck, a few other things we got to take care of now. So it's late at night, but it's hard to be upset. It's a beautiful evening. <clears throat> it's a good day overall. So you just got to keep plowing ahead, make the best of it, keep a good attitude. Don't let the little things get you too bent out of sorts, kind of shape, mixing my metaphors. Anyway, it's been a good day on the whole. It's a beautiful night. I'm really happy with these animals and uh, glad that spring is upon us. Looking forward to getting these animals out on pasture soon, get them out of the lot. So, hope you guys all have a good night. We'll see you soon.